I frequently question our role as parents in preparing our kids for employment. One thing I struggle with on a more on a personal level when I'm hiring for for myself, for the for the company that I started and manage, that uh, that acts as a consultancy helping other businesses uh, grow, or when I recruit for uh, certain customers of uh, of mine who are generally startups or uh, or corporations. And when I look at when we have a job post up, it could be as simple as a copywriter. I get to see uh, a wide variety of different people apply. So uh, people with engineering background, people with writing backgrounds, people with any just a wide variety of backgrounds that are not specifically to writing. And yet I see when I reach out to them saying, I'm curious why as a mechanical engineer or a computer engineer or as a, a, a geologist or as whatever the choice is that they're doing is, why are you applying for this job? And then a lot of the time they say is, uh, um, we can't find jobs uh, uh, in the market and we're looking for something we're looking for something else and this way you get to think if it's for a copywriter position which is basic and it's something that is readily available it's not a specialized field uh, what about the other fields as well so the feeling i have is we there are there are a plethora of jobs a lot of jobs uh, 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 to be filled but yet there are a lot of people to fill those jobs, so I, I see a lot of unemployment rate in different countries in the Middle East uh, where I do work, and this, got, this gets me to question uh, the choice of my uh, of my kids in uh, education. So, what would they study, and what would they work later on? And they're still young now, uh, uh, but what I do know, and I really feel it every time I hire somebody and I speak with them, what I really do know is that uh, we cannot rely 100% on education getting them early on when they're in school uh, to get to do some jobs on weekends or evenings and things like this for them to start to understand and to learn about how how work works and what are things that they like and don't like so I'm trying to help them find some form of indication there so at least they can pick up even if it's a basic job at least they can pick up the element of commerce uh, a element of trade, uh, things that they don't like. Uh, when they do different jobs, so one summer this job, another summer that job, they can tell the difference between what it is working for a good boss or a bad boss or what type of work that they're comfortable with or, or, or not. As I'm doing this video, I have my daughter, uh, she's helping me record this. So this is part of, a part of me starting to look at what are things that uh, her and I can do together and then with my other son as well. So what can we do together where I want them to start to learn new skills, try a few, uh, uh, a few new things. So uh, those, are as, those are examples, small examples in, 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 in day to day that I'm trying to look for uh, options and answers for. Um, so, but this is where I am today, is I don't think 100% reliance on education is me equipping my kids for, uh, for you know, the, the real world and, and employment and life. So I'm looking at different options and uh, this is something I'll, I'll, I'll continue to question and, and share content on.